Hey, welcome to another tutorial. I was on Reddit and I saw this. Most people don't use ChatGPT enough to justify the $20 subscription. With your own API key, you can pay as you go. I've been using GPT-4 daily whenever needed and the total cost was under $20 for the past four months. So if you're not a frequent user of ChatGPT, this video is going to explain how you can use your own API key, but still get very similar um, interfaces as ChatGPT. You're just not spending $20 every single month. You might be spending $5 as this original poster did, right? So $5, $6, $2, $1, um, and they were using their own API key. So I wanna show you how you can use your own API key um, so that you can use ChatGPT, but not spend $20 every single month. So let's get started. So what you want to do is you want to get access to your API key. So this is a very simple process. All you have to do is go to platform.openai.com. So I'm going to click on enter here and it's going to bring us to our platform here where we can go into our API key. So in the left hand sidebar, click on API keys and you'll be able to add a new secret key. Now, the one thing about APIs is it's going to cost you as you use the different models. So you need to be sure that this is the right thing to do um, versus spending the 20 bucks, right? Because as you can see here, based on the pricing model, multiple models, each different with capabilities and price points, prices can be viewed in units of either per 1 million or 1,000 tokens. You can think of tokens as pieces of words where 1,000 tokens is about 750 words. This paragraph is 35 tokens. So you can see here GPT-4 Turbo for 1 million tokens or 1 million words, it's going to cost $10 just for the input. So if you're talking to the AI model and you have a 1 million token, obviously that's a lot, you're going to be spending $10. But you're going to be spending an additional $30 for the output for those 1 million tokens. So total, you'll be spending $40, which is a lot of money compared to the $20 if you just use ChatGPT on subscription. Now, as you go to GPT-4, that increases to $30 for the input um, and then $60 for the output. And then GPT-4 32K, which is a more advanced model, essentially, um, you're going to be spending $60 and $120. So you can see how this can really get costly if you're using the API key versus just spending the $20 for the subscription. Um, and then for GPT-3.5 Turbo, you're going to be spending $0.50 cents for a million tokens, $1.50 for a million tokens. So we're going to be using this one for sure because we're going to be spending less money to get the input and the responses from the AI model. So now that we see the pricing structure and we can still validate spending um, our own, or using our own API key, we can continue. So what you want to do is go back into platform, right? And remember, go to API keys on the left-hand side here, create a new secret key. Now, the one thing about creating a new secret key is that you have to make sure that you save this somewhere. I'm going to show you, share this process with you, but by the end, I'm going to delete my, my own secret key so you can't access it but make sure that you save it somewhere so that you can access it. Um, if you lose it, it's not a big deal. You just create a new one, but it's important that you remember that because you won't be able to access this again after you uh, create it. So I'm going to click on API um, video two. I already kind of did a test here. So I'm going to do video two down here. You can do permissions. So basically you can say, okay, I want this API key to do this or not do this. Right. Um, Maybe you only want the API key to be read only, which means it can't really have any type of responses. It just can do um, reading of that. So I'm just going to do all though. I don't really need to restrict this API key and I don't want read only because I actually want to interact with the API. So I'm going to do all and then I'm going to click on create secret key. Now I have my secret key. And again, like I said, you won't be able to view this again. So make sure that when you copy this, that you save it somewhere um, so they can access it again. But in my case, I'm going to delete this. I don't really need to save it, but I'm going to copy it because we're going to use this API key to actually um, do the process of essentially using ChatGPT, but not spending the 20 bucks. Okay, so let's go into our different models here. So we can use Type in Minds, which is basically another UI user interface, essentially. We can also use Chatbot UI, um, which is, again, another user interface that we can add our own API key and start using ChatGPT in this particular model. All the links to these will be down below. I'm going to be using a very simple one called bettergpt.chat. Okay, this one's very, very simple, very similar to ChatGPT in terms of the um, user interface. However, you can actually customize it a bit more. Before we start using this, though, we need to go and enter our API key. So in the bottom left hand here, just go to API and then just enter your API key and then click on confirm. Now, that's really all you have to do. You can start playing around with it. 
and it's going to charge you as if you're um, you know, only using the API key, which we talked about here, which is the uh, pricing structure here, right? So now we're using GPT 3.5 Turbo. So it's, I'm only being charged 50 cents for 1 million tokens. Now, if you're trying to do more advanced things, you might want to use GPT-4 or GPT-4 Turbo. Just depends on what your use case is. For us, we'll just, you know, keep it simple. Use 3.5 Turbo. Now, if you wanted to change it to, you know, Turbo uh, GPT-4 Turbo or GPT-4, up here, all you have to do is change the model. So in this dropdown, you can see there's all different types of models that you can choose from. 3.5 Turbo, uh, GPT-4, um, GPT-4 32K, right? Um GPT-4 Turbo is actually not in here, but that's fine because we're just using 3.5 Turbo. You can also change this configuration down here. So the max token, so you can read down here what that means, but essentially it's the length of the inputs and also the outputs that the model is going to give you. You can also change the temperature. Honestly, I'm not going to mess with any of this stuff. I'm just going to click on confirm. And that's really all we have to do. Now, at this point, we can interact with the AI model as if we're using uh, you know, ChatGPT. And the cool thing about this is it actually shows you the cost, right? So the cost of what it's going to um, cost you to run this API. So you can see this is so cheap, right? So let's actually test this out and see if it works. So I'm going to say, hi, can you help me generate 10 different YouTube titles for a video talking about how to use chat GPT for less than uh, $20, right? And now I can generate and here we go. So now, I mean, essentially we uh, use 308 tokens for the input and the response, right? Um, again, it's going to cost us 50 cents for a million tokens. So <laughs> we have a long way to go to a million tokens, but you get the idea here, right? It's way cheaper than 20 bucks. Um, and the cool thing about this as well is like, as you interact with this, you can save prompts. Um, to a prompt library. So if you click on this little icon here, you'll see that you can, as you save things, you'll see um, your different prompts here. You can also go into settings and then go into prompt library and import different prompts that you found online as a CSV, or you can also go to their own prompt library that they have generated for you. Um, and if you scroll down here, you can see all the different prompts that you can specifically use for the, the use, use case that you're trying to do. Um, so there's a lot of different prompts in here to be honest with you. So you can kind of go wild with the prompts, but that's essentially how you can use ChatGPT for under $20. And the cool thing is it tells you how much you are spending, right? With the particular model. Now, of course, if you change this model to, you know, GPT-4, it's going to cost more. But the point is you don't really even have to do that. You can use the Pro 5 Turbo API within a ChatGPT user interface without having to spend the $20. So that's how you do it. If you want to see more tutorials like this, be sure to give us a sub and hit that bell so that you know when we drop a new video. We're going to be posting a lot of content soon, so make sure you're notified when we do. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.